for the record, can you state your name? Tell us where you work and how long you've been working there. Uh, Kathy Carnizales. I work at the Healy County Sheriff's Office Medical Unit, and I work. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. You work at Healy County Sheriff's Office Medical Unit. I worked there for almost uh, seven years. Do you recall an inmate by the name of Angela Christensen? Yes. Do you recall seeing her, or, or her being brought uh, to be seen by the medical staff in the jail by by Sergeant Keith Johnson? Yes. And uh, describe for the commission how that happened. Whenever he was bringing her down, yes, I heard yelling, so I peeked out the medical door, and he had her pushed up against a door with her arm behind her back. All right, now you also said that her right arm was against the back, and you told... I'm not sure if it was the right or the left. I don't recall, but I believe it was the right. You told um, Mr. Gartner, you know who Mr. Gartner is in the Internal Affairs, uh, you told him that uh, the inmate was handcuffed from behind. Do you remember that? And then the next uh, Gartner asked you, so he was, he was having her... You were describing her left arm behind her back, and you say, uh-huh, in kind of handcuffing sort of position, kind of up high. You said, yeah. Um, it wasn't like handcuffing. I mean, handcuffing, you're kind of like down, down towards the lower back. Uh-huh. This was more towards mid-back. Do you see this? Yes. Okay. So in that explanation, um, you're talking about her arm being in, up against her back. Up or in her back. Like that. Up in her back, as if she had been handcuffed behind. No. Okay. He was, it wasn't down below, down low, like okay. you would handcuff him. She was up against the wall with her cheek against the wall and her arm behind her back. Okay. I want to show you a video. So when you peeked out, when you came out of the door there, you said because you heard yelling, right? Yes. Okay. And you looked over and you said that uh, she was up against the wall. Yeah. So let's go back. I'm wondering. I, so I've never seen this. So I'm like, wow, I, I know I saw her at him, her up against the wall. I just don't know which time it was. When you reported to Gardner on page five, you said you peeked out and was just like, I think my eyes got real big and my mouth dropped. Yeah. Yes, I um, recall that statement. All oh, right, so your eyes got real big and your mouth dropped because you thought her arm was behind her back. I, yeah, I just wasn't expecting to, to see her up against the wall. I wasn't expecting that. You said that his hand was on her head. Do you remember saying yeah. that? Yeah, I recall. I remember. I don't know why I... S right, because it's not, that's not It's what not what I saw. Right, okay, all right. So based on what you had told Gartner is not quite accurate. I would guess so, yes. Okay. All right. If, if I understood correctly, uh, you saw Ms. Christensen the following day? Yes. And at, the, at which time she was complaining of uh, hurting or pain? Yes. Did, did, did you also see any marks on her body? Yes. Is it is it fair to say that because you saw her that previous day at least three times and there were multiple individuals that were dealing with her, Sergeant Osborne, uh, Officer Matthews, and Sergeant Johnson were all, at least Mr. Osborne and Mr. Johnson were physically in contact with her? Yes. And the following day when she was complaining of pain and the remarks on her body, there's no way of knowing when that might have occurred the previous day, or, or who might have done that. Mm -hmm. You also indicated that, that when the time came for her to get up off, get up off the bed, the, she was resisting. Yeah, she just didn't want to pass the bed. But, but she didn't consider that combative? No, because she's, that's just the way she was acting the whole time, when she, as soon as she got there. Okay. Any other questions? Any other commissioners? As far as I'm concerned, you're, you're excused.